here at the entrance to the farm, if you look back here, you can see there's a bunch of uh, mahogany trees. These aren't on the farm. These are just uh, across the road from it. This is actually belongs to uh, the government of Sablon. It's a school lot, I believe, this portion right here. But uh, mahogany trees are, are very popular to plant here and in many places of the Philippines. It's a really valuable wood. Uh, there's some controversy with mahogany trees though. So uh, in terms of a commercial timber, mahogany is valuable. It grows well uh, and it grows in a, it grows very easily in a lot of different places. Uh, the issue with mahogany though is that it grows a little too well. Uh, this is Honduran mahogany. So this isn't a native species of tree to the Philippines or it's also called uh, big leaf mahogany, I think. Uh, and there's a couple of problems with it. Let's see if I can find one here. Should have shed, shed them recently. Here we go. Ah, they shed, oh, broken half. They shed lots of these seeds right here. Uh, those seeds are uh, spread by wind. They are made in a way, here's a, here's a seed that's in better shape. They're made in a way that when they fall down, they can drift away. Um, but the issue is, since it's not a native tree and it grows so well, it slowly spreads into areas where uh, people aren't growing trees for commercial lumber and it just sort of outcompetes the native trees. Um, also, when the leaves fall to the ground, they kind of, uh, I don't know if I want to say sterilize the ground, but they make it difficult for many plants to grow. So uh, a lot of people suggest that we plant mahogany trees on the farm. And it is a good commercial timber. It's the wood that it makes is good, but um, it's not really suiting the goals that we have for this particular farm. In fact, mahogany is uh, classified as an invasive species now in the Philippines. So uh, I think there's a slow transfer, it looks like, from being a really popular tree to grow along roadsides and as just as commercial timber to uh, more native trees that are also good or even better timber and uh, that are more suited for the area and aren't going to necessarily become invasive where they're planted here in the Philippines. Just under those mahogany trees, uh, we have another plant here I thought I'd show you. Uh, well, first, here, this is the pod that the, all those mahogany seeds come off of. Um, other plant though I wanted to show you under here is right up here. This is called a shy plant. Uh, there's a species of a shy plant. Uh, these, I don't know if these are native to the Philippines or not. I'd honestly be, I wouldn't be too surprised if they're uh, invasive just because you see them absolutely everywhere. Um, they're clear up in Baguio. I see them. You'll see them along all the roadsides. It seems like if the dirt gets disturbed very much, you see them there. So they could be a na uh, native plant. I'm not sure. Um, maybe you could let me know if you know. But the uh, interesting thing about these here is that when you touch them, watch this plant, we touch it, it slowly collapses down. Um, and over time then it will raise back up again. But if you walk through them or just brush against them, those leaves sort of collapse in on themselves. But they're sort of, they're sort of everywhere around here and uh, other areas that I've traveled in the Philippines also, so I don't know if they're I don't know if they're actually uh, native species or not, but uh, They're everywhere, so We actually have them a species of these shy plants that's uh, Grows back in Nebraska where I'm from too. I've seen it in the canyons there. It's not very common so uh, I'm not sure how closely related they are, but they are um, 
they're definitely a related plant because the flower is the same and they have the same behavior. Maybe it's even the same species, I don't know. Here, let's watch this. And it just collapses down. Kind of interesting plant. Uh, next, let's walk up here. Let's see the, uh, let's see where we're gonna plant the trees. I'm being called now by Celeste. <laughs> we look back here. Uh, you can make out the maybe you can make it out. There's a sea in the background back there. Um, it's really nice. Beautiful area here. Mountains. Should be nice. When we get some shade trees up here, it'll be nice as well. On that note, we'll give you a quick update on what's happened since our last video. Uh, we woke up early and took a four-wheel drive truck up as far as we could and unloaded the trees there. And with the help of some guys, we carried them to the farm. It's quite a walk, about a 650 meter walk. Uh, when we were doing that, we discovered that they had just started uh, some more road work closer to the farm, so they're widening it into a two lane road. And when we came back here last time, we checked on these seedlings again, and they're doing well. There's uh, one branch there that looks pretty sick, but that's just something I think was broken when we were transporting it, it looks like. But overall, all they're doing well. If you're supporting us on Patreon, we sent out a list of these trees. Uh, if you want to select which ones you'd like planted in your name, you can get back to us on that. Thanks again for your support. And uh, thanks for watching the videos, everyone. Again, please uh, share them, subscribe. We really appreciate that as well. So have a nice day, everybody.